Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for visiting. I thought tonight I would show you how nice the photopolymer stamps from Whippersnapper Stamp and I'm so excited to be using these. These are the new stamp sets that released just this week uh, with Whippersnapper. This is my first time producing a clear stamp set with Whippersnapper. Typically uh, my stamps are created in red rubber, but this is our first time dabbling in clear stamps. And I have to say I'm so excited. I think they turned out so cute. So I'm gonna stamp the girl from Baked For You on some watercolor paper. I'm using this uh, Versafine, uh, was it Versafine Claire Nocturne ink? And uh, it works really well on clear stamps. It's a really nice um, fine ink and um, it doesn't have any solvent in it that will break down your photopolymer stamps. And it also works really great with watercoloring so it doesn't bleed. Uh, once that ink is dry, you can watercolor and uh, your ink will stay put. So isn't she so cute? I think she turned out adorable. So now I'm going to uh, go ahead and stamp the uh, sentiment from the set and the cookies as well and uh, get things placed here on the watercolor paper. I'm using my Mini Misty so that I can stamp the images multiple times just to get a really nice clear impression on that textured water watercolor surface. Um, I'm also using the Stamp Scrubber from Hero Arts um, and some Stampin' Up! Stampin' Mist to clean my stamp off before I store it back on its storage sheet. And I do love the Mini Misty so uh, that uh, when I'm stamping on textured watercolor paper you can see there the first impression wasn't very clear um, but making a second or third impression um, always makes for a perfectly stamped image. So I think that looks great. So now I'm going to clean those stamps as well and put them back on the carrier sheet and um, then I'll go ahead and color uh, the image for you using my uh, watercolors. I've got some clean water here on my desk and I'm going to go ahead and just color the girl there. You can see that I did stamp the angel as well and I think I'll do a separate video where I show me stamping the angel and painting her as well just to kind of keep the video length uh, a little more manageable for us. I do have this video sped up at two times normal speed uh, just so we can move through things a little bit quicker than uh, your usual speed. Uh, but here you can see I've decided to color her dress a beautiful shade of red and I'll be coloring her apron with just a very pale blue just so that it kind of gives the um, look that it has some dimension to it but actually visually looks still like it's white and same with the collar on her dress I'm also going to painting be painting it with a very light blue uh, just so it kind of looks like a white collar with a little bit of uh, depth or dimension so I'm going to go ahead and put some music on and let you um, watch the painting process. But thanks so much for uh, watching my video. Thank you so much for the comments you've left and also for supporting Whippersnapper in this new endeavor that we are um, taking with clear stamps. So thank you so much uh, for all your support and please enjoy the rest of the video.